Okay guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this tearing vellum grain effect. Okay, so what you're going to want to start off by doing is dropping down a geonode, diving in, dropping a sphere node, send the primitive type to polygon, the frequency to 8, drop a transform node and by the way this here is going to be what we're going to be squishing to get the uh tearing vellum effect set the y translate to 0.7 drop a mountain node make that visible set the amplitude to 0.4 the offset to 27 and element size to 1.7 drop a null and name that as out and click L to let out come out here and name this geo as source geo drop another geo node and dive in drop an object merge and bring in uh, the null you just created on source geo, which is out here. Uh, come out and name this as vellum setup. Uh, make the source geo invisible. Drop another geo node and name this geo as collision. Dive in. Drop down a box node. Set the axis divisions to 4 by 4 by 4. Um, set the x size to 4, the z size to 4, and then the y size to 0 0.2. And this is what we're going to be squishing the um, vellum with. Drop a transform node. Not a transform from centroid, just a normal one. Set the y translate to minus 0 0.1. Duplicate this node. And set the second Y transform to translate to 1.75. On transform 2, we're gonna keyframe this. So, Alt click here to keyframe it. And go to this little icon in the bottom left and set the 24, 24 SPS to 25. And apply FPS. And then set the end frames to 200 and apply that. Go to frame. 20 and keyframe it again then go to frame 50 and keyframe it again but set the y translate to 0.86 go to frame 72 and keyframe it again go to frame 105 and keyframe it again, but set the Y translate to 2.6. Drop down a merge node and combine these two transform nodes. Not like that. But drop a trail node after the merge node. Set result type to compute velocity and then velocity approximation to central difference drop a null and name it as out um go to material palette drag it on a principal shader drag the principal shader to these two then um set it to like a and click on this icon here. Go into Vellum Setup and duplicate the Object Merge node. And name this Object Merge to Source and this Object Merge to Collision. And then bring in the Collision Null out into it. Drop a Vellum Configure Grain node here. Tick on create points from volume, tick on jitter scale, and set the particle size to 0 
and just give your foil a little save. Drop a Vellum Constraints and connect all three inputs like this on constraint type go to glue set the group type to points the target group type to points um, make the wireframe here visible set the glue search constraints per point to five so the max search points to five then drop a vellum solver and connect the first two points and bring in the object merge to the third input there uh, make the view smooth shaded and go back to the start and just give it a little play Okay, so not much going on, but that's okay. Drop down a dot net, drop down a null, and duplicate, alt, drag, and click twice. Name this null as geo, this null as con, and this null as col. Um, this collision null, put the object merge into it, put the vellum constraints into constraint null here, and then the vellum constraints first input geo into geo null, dive into the dot net, drop a vellum solver, drop a vellum object, and on the initial geometry, bring in the geo null and the initial constraints to the constraint null. Connect that to the first input and then that to the and bring it to the start. Drop a gravity node after the vellum solver here. Um, come up here and drop down a pop drag and pull it into the second input of the particle node of the vellum solver. Set the air resistance to 0.1 after the gravity node, drop down a merge node and whack it right there. Drop a static object here and put that into the merge node. Um, just put that like that. On the static object, tick on the use deforming geometry. Tick on reevaluate SOPs to interpolate geometry and the SUP path to the collision null and the OBJ path to set the collision detection to use surface detections which is on collision scroll down oh, no it's here sorry uh, collision detection use surface collisions on the vellum uh, solver set the sub steps to four, tick off the bypass here and just give it a play. And you should end up with something like this for now. Come out of the top now, bring it to the first frame, delete the vellum solver, on vellum constraints, on vellum constraints, grain tick on adjust radius to avoid overlap which is here then drop down a vellum oil and then drop down a dot oil here delete the foil cache and just oh, duplicate that uh, name this one to geo and name this one to con put the geo into the first input of this and the con into the second. Um, on the geo, bring in the dop network. Accept. And the dop node inside the dop network, bring out the vellum object. And do the same for the constraint. 
So the dot net is the dot network and the dot node is the vellum object which is inside the dot net. And presets as particles for both of these. And on the con, set the field name as constraint geometry. Then dive into the dot net. Drop a vellum constraint. Underneath the pop drag. Create constraints to each frame. Constraint type as attached to geometry and group type to points. Scroll down to target geometry, target path to dot dot slash dot dot slash collision. Scroll down to and tick on max distance. Set it to point zero four. Come out of this view and on vellum constraints tick on breaking threshold here uh, the type as stretch distance and the threshold as 0 0.125 dive back into the dot net on vellum object tick on attach to geometry which is on goids here attach to geometry and tick on stitch points um, and just give it a little play and that is pretty much the bulk of the effect um, but we're gonna just further improve it but I'm gonna just quickly give it a save okay so once you've done that you're gonna wanna go to your vellum setup go to brains here set it to 0 0.02 and then bring it to the first frame cache this out so for your path explicit then click on this little icon and save it where you want to save it and then just save to disk I'm gonna turn off the collision view and <clears throat> I'm gonna start off by dropping an attribute transfer connecting the left input to the second input the right input to that input moving it a bit to the right get it visible um, I'm gonna drop down a VDB from particles. Click the left to the left, make that visible. Set the voxel source to point zero zero three. Drop down a, a VDB smooth SDF. And then another one, so just all drag. Connect it like that. Then so the iterations to set the operation to mean a curvature flow so the iterations to one then drop a convert a VDB make that visible and convert to polygons set the adaptivity to point zero zero five a principled shader onto it all right so my bad um bit of a melon moment upon me but um so you want it to put a remesh after the attribute transfer like this and then connect it into the vdb from particles then you should have a look at a meshed effect like this and so on the remesh um 
you can turn up the iterations to make it more detailed. Um, I'm gonna change the color to like a dark red, like I did in the uh, thumbnail. And yeah, that is how you create this vellum tear effect. Thank you for watching.